Okay, Google, vacuum the sitting room. Thanks to the power of Google Assistant, I can tell my Roomba robot vacuum cleaner which rooms to clean by voice command alone. In this video, I explain how to get set up using Google Assistant and one of the latest robot vacuum cleaners, the Roomba J7 Plus. The Roomba J7 Plus has been on the market for a couple of years now, but it recently went on sale, so I decided to buy one. I've previously been the proud owner of an E5 series, which I've owned for the last three years, although the model itself was released five years ago. I'm seriously impressed with the longevity and engineering of the iRobot Roomba range. They are durable and easy to maintain. However, despite the E5 being such a loyal servant, I've always wanted to try the latest Roomba models, which include smart features and Google Assistant and Google Home integration. The E5 is essentially a dumb robot. It operates by bumping around your home, navigating using the sensor in the bumper in the front to tell it when to stop or change direction. It will then follow random paths to clean, often doubling back on itself or missing areas altogether. By comparison, my new J7 Plus will diligently navigate its way to any room I tell it to clean and begin methodically vacuuming in a way that doesn't leave areas untouched. This can be especially helpful when you don't want to spend hours cleaning an entire floor of your home when a spot clean is all that is necessary. My own examples include targeting the kitchen and dining room after a meal or tidying up after our puppy. To get set up, you'll need the Google Home app on your phone and a J7 Plus or another Google Assistant compatible Roomba from the iRobot range. All of the latest models from the i4 up to the J9 Plus support intelligent mapping used to define and identify rooms in your home. And then they include the necessary ability to integrate with Google Assistant via the Google Home app. However, I recommend in investing in at least one Google Home device, like a Google Nest Mini or up to a Google Nest Hub or Nest Hub Max. As a starting point after unboxing and setting up your new Roomba, the first task is to map your home. Using the iRobot app, select the compatible device and then tap on the map icon. On first use, you'll be prompted to map the floor where the Roomba is located. Your Roomba will then methodically move around your home scanning the environment using the built-in sensors, building a virtual map that it'll store in its memory. Afterwards, you can then start dividing up your map into rooms using the suggestions in the app or creating your own from scratch. One tip when using the room dividers is to make sure that they reach the edge to edge of an area. You're unable to leave the ends of a divider in the middle of a space or connect two dividers. When you're happy with the way you've delineated the areas around your home, you can then apply labels. Here you can choose from a handy list of room names or create your own. Identifying the rooms in the iRobot app is how Google Assistant will use voice commands to do your bidding when you connect the apps, which I cover off in the next chapter of the video. Next up, you'll want to download and install the Google Home app on your phone or another mobile device if you haven't already. Now go to Devices, Add, and then Works with Google. Now search for iRobot, tap on the result and connect your iRobot account to Google Home. Google Home uses the iRobot app to bridge and control the functionality of your Roomba. Once connected, your Roomba will appear at the bottom of the Google Home device list. You can rename it and then attribute it to your home then move it to the room that you want. One important part of this step is if you're brand new to Google Assistant is that you'll need to train the app to recognize your voice for commands. As part of the installation process for Google Assistant, you'll already have performed this setup. If you're using the Google Home app for the first time and setting up your first Google Home hardware, you'll need to tap on Settings, scroll down to Google Assistant, and then use Voice Match. On first setup, you'll be asked to repeat the phrases Google Assistant will use as a baseline database to recognize you. This is also the section to retrain Google using Teach Your Assistant Your Voice Again should you be experiencing any issues and need to troubleshoot a solution. If you have a number of different Google devices that use voice commands, you'll also use the screen to make sure they are selected and able to recognize you. Now you're good to go. Simply asking Google Assistant to clean a room is enough. The Assistant is also smart enough to recognize the intent using different syntax as well. The Roomba will then launch and potter off to the room that you want to clean. 
Thank you for watching and as always it would be great if you were to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on personal technology and the connected home.